As Austin Carlyle steps onto stage to the rousing Imperial March theme from the hit Star Wars movies, it is clear to see that this is going to be no ordinary gig for the people of Chicago. Truth is, this has been a long time coming for both Carlyle and the fans of hardcore metal band of Mice and Men, as events over the last year and a half have seen the Five Piece gain notoriety in the US metal scene both on stage and behind the scenes. Originally formed by ex-Attack Attack vocalist Austin Carlyle and bassist Jackson Hall who left the band in August 2010, Of Mice and Men are a metalcore band that have gone from strength to strength since their formation in 2009. They released their self-titled debut album in March 2009, but since then the band have had a rollercoaster ride both with the members of the band and the fans themselves. Just one month after the release of their debut album, Carlisle left the band due to medical issues and an alleged fallout with certain members of the band. He was replaced by former Sky Eats airplane vocalist Jerry Rausch. Rausch, who had only been brought in as a stand-in for Carlisle during the emptiness tour with Elisana, Skylit Drive, The Word Alive and We Came As Romans, but accepted the invitation to front the band on a full-time basis after it was decided the band no longer wanted Carlisle as their frontman. However, in January 2011, Rausch was the first to announce via his Twitter account that Carlisle was in fact rejoining the band. The band themselves then officially announced on Tumblr that they had settled their differences with Carlisle and wanted to give the fans a true of Mice and Men album. I mean, it was kind of like that that time apart really kind of helped everybody grow and uh, yeah. came, we came back still being on like, uh, having leaving on different pages, coming back on the same page is something that we probably couldn't have done if Austin had still been in the band. Yeah. Like just that time apart is like, you know, if you love something, let it go. And if it's come back, you know, it's meant it's to be, the best. It's meant to you be. know, like, or whatever. But like in actuality, that is kind of how it worked because we get along great. We have an amazing time on the road. We wrote amazing music. And uh, it's something that we wanted to, to give to our fans too, because Austin is just as much a part of us, of a Mice and Men as all of us are, you know. Of Mice and Men then recorded their new album, The Flood, with famed Rise record producer Joey Sturgis and set out on their headline tour, a tour that would sell out every single date. Of Mice and Men are at the top of their game in Chicago. Despite having technical difficulties all the way through their set, Carlisle's recognisable and unique vocal style has the audience at its mercy. He commands them as though he were a conductor, teenagers bouncing up and down and swirling in circle pits whenever he calls for it. Newest edition Alan Ashby is clearly a very good influence on the new sound of Mice and Men. The latest song, Still You Diggin', written entirely by Ashby, sounds huge, and Carlisle's vocals only enhance how the song sounds live. Of Mice and Men's older songs can now be heard by the audience the way they were meant to be heard. Many fans claim that Of Mice and Men's live reputation had been tarnished by Rausch last summer as he didn't perform the songs correctly. With Carlisle now back at the home, the songs sound entirely different. Well structured, correctly timed and lyrically correct, the fans get to experience an Of Mice and Men performance some thought they'd never get to witness. The Ballad of Tommy Clayton and the Raw Dog Millionaire is clearly a song that of mice and men enjoy playing live. Drummer Valentino can't help but grin from ear to ear. His drumming performance tonight has been excellent, and The Ballad of Tommy Clayton is a song he is clearly keen to show his technical ability on. Often stopping to talk to fans in between songs, Carlisle is clearly overjoyed to be back fronting the band he started, and is in fine form since the operation that replaced his aorta valve. He demonstrates this in the song This One's For You, where he holds a 15 second long scream with absolute ease.
The gig ends with crowd favourite second in Sebring. It's clear to see that despite being written about Carlisle's mother who passed away when he was 17, every of Mice and Men fan can relate to it in one way or another. The crowd sing along to every word with every ounce of breath they have left in their lungs. It's clearly a special moment for everyone in the room and it's easy to become overwhelmed by the atmosphere of the moment. It's a beautiful sight to behold. Despite a host of technical difficulties of Mice and Men flourish in Chicago, they're gifted musicians with the ability to not only get a crowd moving, but to have fun whilst doing it. It's clear to see that this new generation of Mice and Men is one that can live up to expectation. This is just a taster of what's to come from of Mice and Men, who already have an arsenal of new material to play live, with the recent release of new album The Flood. Whether they can keep the same excellent high standard live remains to be seen. Thank you guys.